Hi friends, uh, Ariel and I are here. And on today's update, we want to talk to you for people that are believers in Yeshua all around the world in many different nations. How do you cope with whether you're supposed to support Israel in this war or not? Anyway, I was just thinking about this verse in uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 6. And it says that the Gentiles, or I would say the nations, should be uh, partners of the inheritance and partners of the body, and partners of the promise in Messiah by the gospel. So isn't that wonderful to think that, that Israel and the nations, we as believers in Israel and in the nations, we have a partnership together. What's ours is yours, what's yours is ours. Doesn't that sound nice? Well, you don't get just the blessings, you also get the war. So we want you to realize that all of a sudden, you become partners with us in this war in which Islamic Jihad is looking to destroy our people. Well, guess what? You're partners with that. And I realize that that's causing a sort of a spiritual crisis, uh, potentially for believers around the world to say, hey, here we are in our country. What happens if our nations are against this or not? Where do we stand as, as uh, Christians? in Africa, in Asia, in South America, and how do we stand as far as this goes in terms of supporting Israel? Well, I wanna say, first of all, we are partners together in this, uh, both you and we as the Messianic remnant in Israel. Wow, we need to pray for you for that. Yeah, yeah, Asher, in, in the verse you read, he's, this is the end of his teaching, or the summary of his teaching about the one new man. Mm. And that he calls it many times a great mystery, which has been hidden before the ages, but is now mm. being revealed. And he speaks a little bit later in verse 10 about what is the result or the effect mm. of this partnership when, we, when yeah. we do it right. And he says it was God's intent that now through the church, through the ecclesia, and in context, he's talking about the one new man church, this idea of Israel and the nations, Jew and Gentile together reconciled in one body, that through us, a, a, we are making known the manifold wisdom of God to the Ooh. principalities, to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Messiah Yeshua, our Lord. You know, when people talk about spiritual warfare, they often jump to Ephesians chapter 6, mm -hmm. and rightly so. That's a big, a big, mm -hmm. big part. But he's already talking here this is the context. about yeah. something that happens when we are together in this partnership as the one new man, as the one new man ecclesia, that begins to move principalities and powers, begins to, it doesn't, it doesn't say we're doing anything. We're not, you know, binding this or binding this. It just says who we are mm -hmm. together is an expression that speaks of who God is, of his wisdom, and that does something to the principalities and powers, and we need that right now, because what's going on here in our country is, has a lot to do with what's happening in the spiritual realms mm -hmm. with, with, with things like Islam and uh, rabbinic Judaism and the promises to Israel and mm -hmm. a lot of different things right. of major spiritual importance. Mm -hmm. Right, so we wanna pray for you because this war is forcing the issue. It's speeding it up. It's making all of the international ecclesia deal with what do they think about the end times? What do they think about Israel? What do they think about this one new man? What it's, it's bringing it all to the forefront. And this is where the heavenly battles are. So we want to pray for you. And pray with us and, and just also for us. For us, the one new man here in Israel is first and more, foremost about Jew and Arab. Yes. We talk about Jew and Gentile. It's easy, easy to be united with, the, with uh, the Asians and people who live very, very far away. But we are, that, that unity is being challenged here and pray for us. We're really trying to come together in prayer and mm -hmm. reconciliation and unity right now in Jerusalem, in Israel, to pray and to do what Ephesians 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 says. We were just praying last night for our uh, born-again friends who are Gazans. Yes. And they're fleeing, <laughs> hiding, in, in, in fled, fled from northern Gaza to southern Gaza, and they're hiding. Yeah. So we want to pray. Amen. Let's do that. Father, we pray for all of our dear friends around the world who are spiritual brothers to us, the remnant 
Messianic remnant in Israel and therefore partners with Israel to the promises, to the inheritances, to the body. Yes. And we pray for everyone. Yes. Lord, this war is pushing an issue of powers and principalities that has to do with Israel. It has to do with the nations Amen. and it has to do with the ecclesia. Amen. And we pray for what God is doing right now. Lord, we pray for wisdom and revelation Amen. and right alignment and right covenant and right understanding Amen. of where we are as a body under Yeshua about the promises, the prophecies, the end times, who we are and what God wants in this big spiritual and military clash. Amen. Amen.